two, one, boom. So I took a four and a half hour ride down to San Diego because my friend Brendan was filming a Showtime special. Yeah. And it was run the jewels the entire way down and back. Thank you, man. It was awesome. Thank you. Woo. I, was, I wish I could work out as hard as people work out to our music. <laughs> to our music. <laughs> Seriously, I'd be, I'd man. More, I've lost 31 pounds, but I'd be 90 pounds down easy now. That was one of the people. things that I was saying. <laughs> this is workout music. Yeah, it is. It is. And Elle and I are chubby as two fat little bears. <laughs> but <laughs> well, you were saying you lost 31 pounds. Yeah, so that's, 31 that's, down. That's I an maybe picked up three old holidays, yeah. but I'm on, I'm on my path. I really am. Shouts out to Al Claiborne. Um, who's from out here, who's a hell of a trainer. If I had his discipline, I'd already be 100 pounds down, but the goal is 100 in the next 18 months. You can and, do it. Yeah, I know. I know. 100%. I, know. Okay, like, 100%. I, mean, I just, just eat bad and got lazy. That's yeah, all. but you know what, man? You can turn it. It's one of those things where you just, if you could stick with it for 90 days, it'll become a part of your life. Well, that's the goal. That's yeah. the goal. You know what I mean? And 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 I'm, I'm about it. Because like, I like meat, so I still get to eat meat, and I like green stuff, and I don't like salad dressing. So I think Perfect. it's going to be relatively easy for me. Yeah, like olive oil and vinegar does not taste bad. Bro, I don't even use that. Like when I have a salad, when my wife makes salad, she literally will make the salad. She may add a little goat cheese or not. She'll, you know, may, she'll throw some chicken or some steak on there. But if it's fruit in the salad, I don't need any salad dressing. Just throw some strawberries or some apples or something. Something to just give me that spry of juice and, and I'm good. Yeah. Now, if I could figure out doing that three to four times a day. Versus the one meal I'm with my wife and then eating like trash in the studio. I'll be there. Yeah, great. that's the problem is when the temptation rolls in. You see burgers and fries. You yeah. just go, fuck it. You see a, a, a Coca-Cola. Yeah, a that's real my, Coke. That's, that, that really is it for me. Oh, I, I had to quit sodas. They're yeah. the worst. Which is which is which brings me to Cola. Yeah. So what is Cola? You Cripacola, gave me two bottles of it, but I wanted to keep it in the fridge. Yeah, I want to yeah. enjoy it in its perfect temperature. Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, RC-Cola, anything with cola, right? has probably killed more Americans than anything else in the world, right? So anything that's cola. Because Coca-Cola's provided tons of jobs in my hometown. I don't want to diss them. They might promote a concert of mine, right? <laughs> but we know that sugary drinks aren't good for you. Right. Yet we don't have an aversion to. We don't criminalize sugar. And my doctor literally told me, Michael, sugar is poison, right? I want you to work it out of your diet. But <clears throat> these kids that are members of these little punk-ass street fraternities, essentially gangs, we criminalize and villainize a bunch of teenagers who simply don't have anything to do. They don't have jobs. They don't have skills. They don't have organization. They don't have police athletic league like they used to. They don't have people engaging them in academics or sports the way they used to. So they just kind of, you know, mess off, fuck off. Sometimes fuck up and violence happens, right? If you could take those same kids with the entrepreneurial spirit that will sell you water on the side of a highway and you add it to something the public already wants anyway, cola, you create something like Crippa Cola and B-Pop. And essentially what you're doing is creating the same sugary shit that we all go buy and drink and we shouldn't. And now we're given the structure of, say, a Hell's Angels to say, yeah, <clears throat> you could say we're a criminal organization, but we still can sell you a fucking T-shirt because we're now paying our taxes. We're now employing people and we're now doing what we're supposed to do. And that's what I wanted to give the gift of my friends who are, who, are, who are members of street fraternities. And we actually pulled it off at the show. These guys actually managed to bring something in, in microcosm to the market in Atlanta. It did well enough for us to keep continuing doing it, and I'm going to see how far it can go. And what's in it? Sugar, water, <laughs> artificial, uh, artificial um, uh, what is it, food color and flavor, and that's it. It's, I think it's six ingredients total. Those guys got. Have you ever, do you know what Zevia is? You ever mm -hmm. fuck with Zevia? You mean the fake sugary stuff you use? It's No, Zevia is uh, soft drinks that are made with stevia. Yeah, but the thing is, like, you know what I found out with me with sugar? It's either just do it or don't. Like, for mm -hmm. me, it's easier to, to do things that are actually a real just sugar, like a Mexican Coke, or just have, you know, some carbonated water with lemons in it. Mm -hmm. I don't do well with the invitation. It's kind of like getting a hand job. I want the whole thing. I know what you're saying, but this stuff is good. It's it's different. I've it's had just some. Flavored. My man Pooh Bear, who yeah. writes for Justin Peabody, he's did it. It's just my I am such an addict of you sugar. You want the real thing. Yeah, so it doesn't yeah. make sense for me sometimes to tempt myself. So like, I, I'll do you just drink just, water? I, I, just, I do a lot of water now, a lot more water now, and I do a lot of club soda with lime, which I used to talk shit to LP about. <laughs> I mean, you're drinking white guy drinks. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and now it's you know, L is ordering a, a fucking, you know, he's ordering a drink drink, and I'm just like, yeah, I'll take a club soda and lime. <laughs> That's good, man. If you could stick on that path. I Shouts mean, out to my man, Bear Loke, um, who is a friend and mentor. A lot of times you might see a guy with me um, who does security. Bear introduced me to Shaolin Kung Fu. We were basically kicking and punching and moving around. He also introduced me to a lot of the guests that are on your show. 
um, including, you know, guests that talk about intermittent fasting, that mm. talks about getting rid of sugars and stuff. And he just loves me like a big brother. So he keeps me in tune with what's going on. 